So, hello everyone. This is take umpteen hundred and eighty nine. This is uh, a <laughs> this video has perturbed me to the point that that my brain locks that and interruptions and it just okay. Let's try it again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Anyway, <clears throat> there was a day not too long ago that a few people are aware of. I don't know how many, but at least three. Um, this day was, it was uh, on the 11th of September, back in 2001. Um, there was a, a little little seed that was planted in the soil of people's hearts. And the seed blossomed up into this beautiful bush of fear. And now this fear is overtaking the population <laughs> In such a way that that it it's mind-boggling. It just like whoo, blows the 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 mind thingy, the ponderer box. Today, um, I got up to drink some coffee with my lady while she's getting ready for work, and we were watching the news like she likes to do, and the news. Anyway, um, there was a, a story that come on. Oh, God, it's so disgusting. It just blows my mind. I can't even, I cannot even it's, formulate the words to express just how retarded this is. And I know that political correctness, it's not okay to say retarded. So um, I'll try to fix it I'll, uh, I'll use the word retarded and if it still offends you open a dictionary pull up retarded and check out the definition because <clears throat> I don't give a fuck about your political correctness anymore it's pussifying the the United States and yeah the United States of pussies singing songs about how brave we are speaking of bravery this story on the news it's called Chariots for Women. It's uh, some Uber driver, feminist, psycho cunt, broke off and started an app for like an Uber-like service for women only and boys up to the age of 13. Because at the age of 13, boys turn into homicidal maniacs who rape and kill women and, and dismember and disfigure women. That's just what we do, apparently. Um... <coughs> I would like to point out that when you when you get into a cab, the odds of you getting raped, murdered, dismembered, disfigured, hurt in any way outside of a, a vehicle accident is very, very slim. Very, very slim. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I'm just saying that odds are, the odds are, you could take a cab every day, even multiple times a day, Every day of your life, and I mean every single day of your life, and never be raped, disfigured, dismembered, murdered, horrified in any way by your cab driver. Unless you're easily offended, in which case you should probably take a nap. Um, because of life, man. And then uh, my lady, she points out, she's big on this, on this uh, day and age, you know, when they had chariots and all that. And when a chariot would arrive, it was driven by a man. And when they would tell you, your chariot has arrived, ma'am, it was a man's voice saying this, but this little service, women drivers, women passengers, boys up to the age of 13 when they become homicidal psychopaths. <clears throat> Even my lady was appalled at how divisive this is between the two sexes. Like... You know, you got the, we got Black Lives Matter causing a division line between blacks and whites, like uh, even worse than than the idiocy that was there prior to Black Lives Matter, thanks Planned Parenthood. And now we've got chariots for women. It's going to be the defining point of where that line is drawn between men and women. And pretty soon... <laughs> 
pretty soon we'll have women on this side and men on this side and we'll completely segregate each other and it, it, it's just so what the fuck is wrong with you people like when i think about like i like to like forward look like i don't know when you watch this fibonacci spiral out of control my mind when I, well when i think about the government and it's fear thing which is like a reflection of the people but anyway when i look at the government in this forward-looking thing i see this entity this evil vile blob of a thing that is so paranoid becomes so paranoid of everything even its own shadow that it has to lock down its people in such a way that they can't move before it devours itself because it's afraid even of its own self and that is how bad fear will wrap you up and this is why it just i hate fear mongers and i try to disassociate with them especially if they're trying to fear monger without knowing the full story of what's going on you take one person's side you spread fear and hate and all that shit you are scummy <clears throat> anyway government is a reflection of the people so when we look at all these people that are suffering from this fear I asked a woman one time, I asked a woman where the, the supermarket was on the street. And yeah, I, I get it. Maybe I, maybe I startled her. Maybe she didn't see me coming up or whatever, but I asked her which way to the supermarket. <laughs> I swear, man, she was like that close to pissing her pants and her man standing right next to him. But you know, this man is like so fucking feminized that like if I was going to attack them, he wouldn't have been a deterrent. I just wanted to know where the supermarket was. And they both sat there. And her man finally says, oh, I, I don't know, man. Maybe, 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 maybe just go down that way. I, I don't know. Okay, thanks. It, it. What a bunch of pussies. The land of the free, home of the brave. Bullshit. Um, what the fuck are you people thinking of? You're so fucking scared to come out of your house because you might might meet a stranger somewhere in your day-to-day -day routine how are you going to exist how like like where how <sighs> when i was a kid man i was allowed to play outside and like run back and forth and and now the news tells us that if we allow our kid to play in the backyard they're going to cost those services and now like imagine what it's going to be like for your kids excuse me when like when when your kids grow up and they have kids what's it going to be like for their kids like i i just don't get out of bed you might fall down go boom and then we'll have to intravenously pump this this food into your belly because if you chew it up and swallow it wrong you might choke like what a bunch of pussies like what a bunch of bubble wrapped Pussies! I I don't want a bubble wrap planet. I, I you know people have to get hurt. That's put that's fucking. Ugh. Like I said, I've had to take, I have had to do this video over and over because it just infuriates me on so many levels. With this one little thing, it branches out in so many. It's like a hub of retardation that branches out into every fucking aspect of humanity. Fuck this chariots for women because. <laughs> for retarded people driven by retarded people to encourage retarded people it's fucking retarded i i just i have to let it go there man because i i'm i'm so it's turning my stomach so brutally it, it's if you can't see just how horrifying this is for people for humanity people anybody with an actual spark of consciousness in the brain ponderer thingy <sighs> well you deserve the future that you're building for all of us fucking fear monger and piece of shit um with that you know uh joanne adam everybody else has been you know trying to get a hold of me i'm sorry i've been out of contact i'll try to fix that but right now i just got so much shit going on um i may be coming out with a video later on tonight hopefully and then i've got some other things in the works as soon as i have some better equipment but with that i just 
<laughs> I'm going to go take a shower and wake up. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day. Just, yeah.